So I finally hit level 30 on NBA 2K23 and my gaming chair stinks, but was it worth it? Yes. Yes, it was. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, man. How the hell are you leveling so fast, man? And honestly, the truth is I only play Wreck. Wreck is the only thing that I play uh, because honestly, man, since the beginning of time, Wreck has always gave a crap ton of XP, especially to builds that can do everything. I'm talking about builds that can get boards, builds that can play defense and get steals, get assists and score. And so at the end of the day, I always try to aim for at least an A minus or like an A plus. And if the game is just going terrible, even if i'm on a losing team i try to go for at least a b so i can get you know the, not the maximum amount of xp but a great deal of uh xp so of course i found a jump shot that i really really love if you guys want this jump shot i will more than uh more than willing to give it to you guys in another video uh just let me know i think i went four for 15, uh, 14 for 15 or 13 for 14 in this jump shot with this jump shot but either way it goes i was going stupid i was really just going crazy uh, to the point where the guy just quit and of course it just made it even easier for me because all i got to do is just time my jump shot against the computer but um yeah man I'm, I'm i'm enjoying it i'm really enjoying 2k i'll probably be somewhere around at 33 34 by the end of this week i'm really trying to aim for that jabberwockies thing because i kind of just want to see what the emotes are i want to see what you know what things they might have uh because of course you can't wear the skeleton in the wreck i already have the skeleton i already tried it I was hoping one day that they actually do allow us to wear our clothes or wear like specialty things in the wreck again. There is a glitch running around now where you can wear your regular clothes. Apparently, all you got to do is wear your headphones, but it's like a 50 50 chance it'll work. I haven't gotten to work yet. So either way it goes, that's this is what I've been doing, guys. I just been busting ass in the wreck. I've been having fun doing this, man. I don't really see a reason to get away from my method. Um, I am going for legend as well. So I am in here as well doing the, the quest, uh, which are like hella annoying, man. That's that's a topic for another day because I really feel like this is just the worst thing ever in terms of making me play wreck. And then you want me to play theater too. Like I 2K, why can't we just like stop forcing people to play modes that they don't want to play it's it's ridiculous oh speaking of which while i'm even on talking about that that got flopped man because the jump shot that you know spot of precision is just deadly like has anybody else used it yet has anybody else used spot of precision to see how crazy this takeover is because it's literally like throwing a golf ball in the ocean i if you just remotely know how to time your jump shot like just remotely know you don't even gotta be like super great with your jump shot if you can just get it right in that slightly early slightly late range it's gonna green every time every single time but anyway man this is my jump you know this is this is the gameplay i just want to show y'all how crazy i'm going as you can see i got an a plus these are randoms too like i don't know these guys i you know this is just what happens when you hit your shots like people will be like oh they don't ever pass me the ball man just hit your damn shots take the most of the opportunities you got when you do get the ball don't do nothing stupid one of the things one of the worst things you can do especially as like a random and wreck is like getting your feelings about not touching the ball get the ball and then do something stupid with it and then now you prove to the other four people why you shouldn't have got the ball in the first place you know how many times i make it to like the third or the fourth quarter not taking a single shot and then i hit like a clutch ass three and they'll be like oh shit he can shoot and the next thing you know i'll end the game going from zero points to 16 points because you know at the end of the day people just don't have a lot of great basketball iq a lot of these people come here as two mans three man so you just got to prove you know that you ain't stupid i mean don't you know don't look at it the wrong way because we do it to people too i'm not gonna lie when i when i'm you know playing 2k and i'm in there with a three-man or a four-man squad that fifth dude if, if he's a random he might as well quit if he does too many stupid things in a row because we're not going to pass him the ball no more so for me this is this is what we do like i miss my shot but i mean look at the top right guys i was shooting 92 percent from three like at that point you're stupid for not passing me passing me the ball if i'm still wide open like i'm gonna hit the shot i only missed that shot for whatever dumbass reason 2k wanted me to miss it for so you know that's i guess that's like a little bit of some advice man make the most of your possessions and try to make the, the right play try to do the right thing uh when it comes to playing these games man because these randoms are ruthless they will not pass you the ball if you know you feel that they feel like you're a dumbass and the crazy things with these guys man they you know they realize i can shoot they pass me the ball and next thing you know i'm, I'm going off for like i want to say like 39 i think i hit like 39 points and of course they sent me a message just telling me like hey yo you know you, you dope whatever blah 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 all that good stuff but you know I, I don't push my luck with randoms i might play a couple games with them and then i get off because like the same way we blowing these guys out i'll end up getting my ass whooped 
you know we'll end up getting our ass with the very next game so like i said all i really do is i go into every single game trying to get at least an a minus or a plus and then if we're losing i just try to go for a b I did, you know what i'm saying i'll be on the losing team everybody would have a c minus and i'll have like a b plus you know trying to get an a so you know that's that's why i just recommend for you guys man go for the letter grade don't worry about the points don't worry about you know the assists and all that just go for the letter grade play great defense go you know get on transition do what you can to raise your grade and that's all i got for y'all today man this is your boy LVZ, man. i will see you guys in the next video tiktok uh youtube make sure y'all like and subscribe and i'll see y'all i'm out